Good day to all, especially our men on this Father's Day. The pleasure is mine to address our fathers on this special day, internationally recognized as Father's Day, and to encourage us as the heads of homes, the breadwinners of the family, the patriarch, the pillar, the mentor, the coach and role model. It is always a privilege and an honor to speak to us. As a father of three grown children, I have learned over the years that my role as daddy must have a significant impact on my children as whatever I do should shape their lives into the adults that they have become. It is well established, it is a well established fact that as a father who is intimately involved at times without children assisting in promoting their inner growth and development, it is also, it helps me to do that thing in instilling self-confidence and all that will go to make them the kind of persons they ought to be not just as an adult not just as adults but life in general and of course we know the bible is filled with examples of fathers who not only laid a firm foundation for their children but live god-fearing lives worthy of commendation and of course, we could refer to Noah, uh, we could refer to Abraham and to Isaac. And even though they failed at times, yet God continued to show himself great and gracious to them so that they in turn could fulfill or fulfill their purpose on this earth and in life to bring honor and glory to his precious name. We look at Moses. Moses was indeed a father to the Hebrew people. Oh, no doubt depicting our father. You know, father to the fatherless as mentioned in Psalm 68 and verse 5. When we look at the prodigal son, according to Luke 15, 20, we're told there, when the guy was considering coming back home, in fact, when he decided he was going to come back home, his father saw him afar off and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. What a, what a God, what a God, what a father we serve. He's the greatest of all fathers indeed, God himself. He is our Heavenly Father and He loves us unconditionally and unreservedly. Yes, we need Him. He's promised to supply all our need. Oh, fathers, today I want to encourage us to love our children. Let's try to make it as selfless and sacrificial and as genuine as we can. You know, the Bible tells us that love will cover a multitude of sins. We've got to help them. We've got to work with them. Let's not only love them, but let's lead them. Lead them. Joshua reminded us in Joshua 24, 15, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I know this is the prayer of every father. And if you do not know him as your Savior and Lord, this is a good time. Yeah, we've all failed, but God remains faithful. And then we need to lend them, give them back to the Lord without reservation. For with him is safety, security, and satisfaction. And his promise to supply all our need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So fathers, let's 
do the right thing. Let's keep on being faithful and attentive and trustworthy, humble. Be examples and righteous. And you would find it out by now. I have spelled Father. Yes. Remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Daddies, fathers, let's do our part for His glory. Happy Father's Day. And certainly enjoy the rest of the day. And if it be possible, the rest of the year.